Hi everyone, welcome back to Singing How to Study Chinese. This is HSK Level 1 course, and I'm your teacher, Ronnie. Today we are going to learn lesson 11, 第十一课, 现在几点? 现在几点? Which means, what's the time now? Now first, let's move on to our warm-up part. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 clocks and Let's try to fill in the blanks, okay? I will give you 15 seconds. Okay, time's up. Now let's see. First one is five o'clock. In Chinese, it is wu dian. Wu dian. Okay, five o'clock is the D. It's D. Okay. Next one is two o'clock, which is liang dian in Chinese. Liang dian. Liang dian. Okay, liang dian, which is which is the second one, B. Okay, next is 九点四十五分, 九点四十五分, 9 o'clock, 九点, and 四十五分 is 45 minutes, which is F. Next one is 12 o'clock, 十二点, 十二点, which is A. Okay, next one is 三点零五分, 5 minutes past 3, 三点零五分, which is C. And next one, 六点三十分, or 六点半, 6.30, which is E. And last one, 十点十分, 10 past 10, which is G. Okay, so this is about how to read time, how to express time in Chinese. And today's lesson is all about that. So first, let's see text one, new words. First is xian zai, xian zai, xi yan xian, zi ai zai, xian zai, xian zai, read after me please, xian zai, means now, now, xian zai. Next one is yan, de yan, dian. Read up to me, please. Dian, dian is a third tone word. Dian it means a clock. It, it is used to express a whole time, whole hour. So when you want to say one hour, then you can say one o'clock, then you can say yi dian, okay, yi dian. It is one o'clock, one o'clock. Then if it is 10 o'clock, then you can say 十点,十点. So you can see, if you wanna say which o'clock, then just put the number before 点. Okay, this is the structure. Which clock, which 点. Next one is 分. Fun is used to express minute because dian is just used to express the hour. So we need a fun to express the minute. For a fun, read up to me, please. Fun, fun, fun it means minute. So if it is 20 minutes, 20 minutes, then it is 二十分, 二十分. So the structure is just the same as the end. You will never you want to say, you just need to put the number before fun. Okay. This is ji dian ji fun. Next one is zhong wu zhi wong zhong wu. Read up to me, please. Zhong wu zhong wu. Pay attention to this wu. When we are talking about wu alone, it is a two one four pitch wu. But when wu, it is a third tone. When it is after a another tone, then it will be read as 
half that tone, right? So it is 中午, 中午, okay? 中午, it means noon. And aren't we so familiar with this 午? We have learned many words about 午, which is morning, 上午, right? 上午, morning, 上午. And afternoon is 下午, right? 上午 and 下午, okay. And there are other ways to express the morning, which is 早上, yes, 早上. And the evening, 晚上, yes, very good. 早上, 晚上, 上午, 下午, 中午. Okay, this is about the time. So how to say today's noon, today noon? Please tell me how to say today's noon. It is 今天中午, right? 今天中午. So how to say yesterday's noon? Then it is 昨天中午, right? 昨天中午. Tomorrow's noon? 明天中午, 明天中午. Okay, this is about noon, 中午. Last one is 吃饭, 吃饭, 吃一吃, for an fan. Read after me, please. 吃饭, 吃饭. It means to eat meals, to eat a meal. So, eat the breakfast is 吃早饭, okay? 吃早饭, eat breakfast. 饭 means meal. And the morning means 早上. So, the breakfast actually is 早饭 in Chinese. So try to guess how to say dinner in Chinese. Because the evening is 晚上, so the dinner must be 晚饭, yes, 晚饭. 晚晚, 晚饭, 晚饭, this is dinner. I try to say the lunch, the lunch. We've learned noon is 中午, so try to say the lunch. So it can be 中饭 or it can be 午饭 as well, but we will use 午饭 more often, okay? 午饭, lunch. So eat, the lunch is 吃午饭, okay? 吃午饭, 吃午饭, okay? This is the breakfast, the dinner, and the lunch. And still remember how to say cooked rice? Cooked rice is 米饭, right? 米饭, okay, very good, 米饭. And now I, if I say 在家吃饭, 在家吃饭, then it means eat at home, right? Eat at home. Zai a place, do something is the structure we've learned before. Zai a place, do something. And the Zai Jia Chi Fan is eat at home. Now try to say eat at school. Eat at school. Then it is Zai Xie Xiao Chi Fan, right? Zai Xie Xiao Chi Fan. Okay, if you eat at friends' home, then it is Zai. 朋友家吃饭, 在朋友家吃饭, okay, very good. So, how to say where to eat? Where to eat? How to say where? It's 哪儿, so where to eat is 在哪儿吃饭, okay? 在哪儿吃饭, where to eat? Okay, very good. Now, let's try to read these new words from start. Each form twice. Three, two, one. 现在, 现在, 点, 点, 分, 分, 中午, 中午, 吃饭, 吃饭. Okay, very good. Now I will read the text and please listen carefully. 现在几点? 现在十点十分, 
：中午几点吃饭？十二点吃饭。Okay, let's see the text sentence by sentence. First one is, 现在几点？现在几点 ？We just learned 点 means a clock, so this this actually means what time it is now. What time it is now? Okay, 现在 means now, and 点 means hour, a clock. Okay, next one. 现在十点十分 Okay, let's see. 现在 now 十点 ten o'clock. But we still have minute to express. That's why we used 分十点十分 It's ten minutes past ten. The next sentence. 中午几点吃饭中午 the noon, the noon. 几点吃饭几点 What time? When? 吃饭 to eat meal. So it means when shall we have our lunch? When shall we have our lunch? Because it is talking about the noon, the noon here. 中午几点吃饭 Okay, be answered. 十二点吃饭十二点吃饭 Okay, in the twelve o'clock. 十二 Twelve, 十二 twelve. 吃饭 eat meals. So in this text, so let's see something. Okay, let's see something. This sentence: 几点吃饭 and 十二点吃饭 Tell me where is the verb? Where is the verb? Verb is 吃 right? 吃 here 吃 and where is the time? The time. This is 几点 here the time word and next one 十二点 the time word. So we can see the time word is just before the verb. Okay, the time word should be before verb. Okay, now let's try to read this text from start. Okay, read after me. 现在几点？现在十点十分。中午几点吃饭？十二点吃饭。Okay, now let's try to read in rows. I will be A and you will be B. Three, two, one. 现在几点？中午几点吃饭？Okay, very good. Now I switch the row. You will be A. Three, two, one. 现在十点十分。十二点吃饭。Okay, very good. Now let's move on to text two. At home, let's see the new word. First one is 时候，时候，时一时和 o 后 ，and 后 here is the neutral tone, neutral tone. Okay, read up to me, please. 时候，时候 ，okay, very good. 时候 it means time, moment, time, moment. So when I say 什么时候，什么时候 ，when I put 什么 what. Before 时候 then it means what time? Actually, it means when, when, 什么时候等于 when. 什么时候 means when. Next, try to say when to eat. When to eat. When to eat. It is 什么时候吃饭 We just learned from text one that the time word is before the verb. So the time word 什么时候 must be before 吃饭 Okay, 什么时候吃饭 It means when to eat. Next, try to say when to study. When to study. It is 什么时候学习什么时候学习 Okay, when to walk. When to work. It is 什么时候工作？什么时候工作 ？Okay, very good. 
Next word is 回。何为回 ？Read up to me, please. 回，回 It means to come back, to go back, or to return. Just to back, to back. So if you want to go back to any place, you just need to put the place after 回 Okay, place here. 回 plus a place. So if you want to go back home, then it is 回家 and if you want to go back to school, 回学校 Okay, 回家 and 回学校 This is 回 Next one is 我们 Read after me, please. 我们我们们 is the neutral tone. Neutral tone, please pay attention to it. And we are really familiar with 我 okay, 我 and 我们 means we, we. And the difference between 我 and 我们 is this 们 right 们 So actually, 们 is a plural mark for some pronouns or some uh animative nouns, animative nouns. Okay. So if you want to say you, the plural of you, then it should be 你们 okay, 你们 and plural of we, plural of me is we, which is 我们 in Chinese. Now try to say they, they. We already learned how to say he, him, which is 他 right? So They is 他们，他们 ，OK， 他们 ，They. And if when I wanna say a group of girls, when I want to use they to describe a group of girls, then I can say another 他 in Chinese, but which means she, right? 他们 ，this 他们 ，OK. This is 们 Last one is 电影 which means film, movie. 电影电影影电影 Read up to me, please. 电影电影 Don't forget to read this in as a half third tone, okay? 电影电影 It means movie, movie. So when I want to say watch the movie, watch the movie, then it is 看电影看电影 ，we just learned. 看 means to watch, to read. 看电影 ，so watch Chinese movie is 看中国电影。看中国电影 is watch Chinese movie. So how to say watch American movies? It is 看美国电影。看美国电影。Okay, very good. Do you remember how to say computer? Computer, computer is 电脑 right? 电脑 So as we can see here, 电影 and 电脑 they all have the same character, which is 电电 means electricity, electronic. So 电影 and 电脑 they are all about Electricity. That's why we call them that. Okay. Now try to read from start. Okay, each for twice. Three, two, one. 时候，时候，回，回，我们，我们，电影，电影。后 of 时候 and 们 of 我们 they are all. Neutral tone. Okay, please pay attention to these two. Now let's move on to our, move on to our text. I will read it and please listen carefully. 爸爸什么时候回家？下午五点。我们什么时候去看电影？六点三十分。Okay, let's see the text sentence by sentence. First one, 爸爸什么时候回家？爸爸 is the subject of this sentence. 什么时候 is asking about the time, right? The the when when and 回家 means go back 
home, which is verb plus an object. Okay, so this is the predicate. Okay, 爸爸什么时候回家 When will father coming home? Okay, next. 下午五点 Afternoon five o'clock. So we can see in Chinese the expression of time is. First, we will say the afternoon, and then we will say the time. But in English, we will say the time first, and then we will say p.m. five o'clock p.m. Okay, it is the in the contrast with Chinese. Next one, 我们什么时候去看电影？我们 we are the subject of this sentence. And 什么时候 is the time word. 去看电影 is the verb, the predicate. 去看 there are verb one and verb two, and they are 去 a place to do something. Okay, 去 a place to do something. Still remember this structure. And when the place is not that important, we can omit the place after 去 And in this situation, the place is omitted because we all know where to go to. Because 看电影 watch the movie, we all know it means we are going to the cinema. That's why we can just omit the cinema here. We don't need to say we will go to the cinema to watch the movies. Okay, everybody knows you are going to the cinema. So this is the structure. To a place, do something. Do what? 看电影 Last sentence. 六点三十分六点三十分 six o'clock and half past six o'clock. 六点三十分 half past six o'clock. And actually, for the for for half past what we can say 三十分 and we can still say 半半 means half in Chinese. 拨案半拨案半 Okay. So in English we can say six thirty, just like 六点三十分 in Chinese, and we can also say half past six, which is 六点半 in Chinese. Okay, so we have two expressions: 六点三十分 and 六点半 And for 六点半 we don't need to put a 分 after 半 Okay, 六点半 and 六点三十分 Okay, now let's try to read it from the start. Read after me, please. 爸爸什么时候回家？下午五点。我们什么时候去看电影？六点三十分。Okay, now let's try to read in rows. You, I will be A, and you will be B. 爸爸什么时候回家？我们什么时候去看电影？ Okay, very good. Now let's switch the row. You will be A. Three, two, one. 下午五点，六点三十分。Okay, very good. Now let's move on to text three. Let's see. First word is 植物住 which means to live, to stay. 植物住 Read after me, please. 住，住 means to live. To stay. So wherever you wanna live, you just need to say, 在 where 住 This is the structure of it. 在 plus a place and then plus 住 It means to live at where. To live at where. Okay. So try to make a sentence, make a phrase. Live. Live at school. Live at school. So we just need to put the school at this 
this part, right? This part. So it is 在学校住, right? 在学校住, live at school. Okay. If you are living in this place, this place, which is the capital of China, Beijing, read up to me, please. Beijing, Beijing, Bo A, Beijing, Jing, Beijing. Then, how to say it? Live in this place. This is Zai Beijing Zhu, Zai Beijing Zhu. Okay, so how to say live at where? Where? We just need to change the place into where, and where is. Nar in Chinese, right? So it is Sai Nar Zhu. Sai Nar Zhu. So this is the way to ask about a person where do you live? Ni Sai Nar Zhu. Okay, Ni Sai Nar Zhu. And we are going to discuss about when, how long to stay, right? How long to stay? Wherever you live, you will stay at the place and it will, it will, um, it is about the time. And let's try to say, leave three days, leave three days, stay for three days. Then it is, 住三天, okay. If you want to talk about the period of how long you've stayed, then you just need to put the days after after zhu, okay? If it is three days, then zhu, san tian. If it is one day, zhu, yi tian. And if it is two days, zhu, liang tian. Please pay attention to it. It is not er, it's liang, le yang, liang. In Chinese, when we are counting, counting, we will always use liang. Instead of er, for example, if it is two o'clock, then it is liang dian instead of er dian. And if it is two days, liang tian instead of er tian. Okay. And if it is years, still liang nian instead of er nian. Okay. This is zhu. And try to say leave, stay for a week. Stay for a week. Let's try to remember the things we've learned before. A week. How to say that? It is 住一个星期. 住一个星期. Okay, very good. This is live for a week. 一个星期. Okay, this is Zhu. Next one is Qian Qi Yan Qian. Read up to me, please. Qian Qian Qian. It means before, earlier than some time. Okay, earlier than some time. This is talking about time. So when I want to say one week before, it is Yi Ge Xing Qi Qian. Okay, Yi Ge Xing Qi Qian. So we can see if we want to say a time, a period, or a moment before, then we just need to put that thing before. 前, 一个星期前, 三天前, okay? This is about time. And we've learned about a, a 前, the 前, about a space, which is 前面, right? 前面. We've learned the person in the front, which is 前面的人 or 前面那个人, okay, 前面. Don't forget about these two. One is about time and one is about space, okay? One is about time and one is about space. Now let's try to read these from start, each word twice. Read up to me, please. 住, 住, 前, 前, 北京, Beijing. Okay, now let's move on to our text. I will read it and please listen carefully. 我星期一去北京。你想在北京住几天? 住三天。星期五前能回家吗? 
能。Okay, let's see. First one, 我你星期一 the time, and then 去北京 the verb. So we can see the time word is still before the verb. Okay, 星期一去北京 I will go to Beijing Monday in the Monday. Okay, next one. 你想在北京住几天？在北京住，在北京住。We just learned it. It means to live at a place. 在北京住。Okay, and 想 means want to do something. This is the modal verb we've learned before. Want to do something. Would you like to do something? 你想在北京住几天？ How many days do you wanna stay in Beijing? 几天 How many days? And I said, 住三天 Live for three days. Live for three days. 住三天住 plus the days. It is about the time period. Okay, next one. 星期五前。能回家吗？星期五前 ，before Friday. So this is the structure. Before which day? We just need to put that day or period before 前。星期五前 ，before Friday。星期一前 ，before Monday。Okay. 三天前 means before three days before three days ago. Okay. So we can put a time a moment. Time point before 前 and we can also put a period before 前 Next one, 能回家吗？能 is another mode of verb we've learned before, which means can do something, can do something. So 能回家吗 It is asking about a request. Can go home and he said, 能 Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay, now let's try to read it from the start. Try to read after me. 我星期一去北京。你想在北京住几天？住三天。星期五前能回家吗？能。Okay, now let's try to read it in rows. I will be A and you will be B. 我星期一去北京。住三天，能 ？OK， let's switch the row. You will be A. Three, two, one. 你想在北京住几天？星期五前能回家吗 ？Okay, very good. Now let's move on to our language point. First is about the expression of time. Expression of time. So in Chinese, we will say the bigger unit always before the smaller unit. So about the time, we will say the hours before the minutes before the second. So first we will say 点 and then we will say 分 and 点 it means a clock. It is used to express the whole hour. And the 分 means the minute. It is used to express the minute. So let's see some examples. First is about the hours. When it is a full hour, then for example, first one is nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Then we will say 九点 nine 九 o'clock. 点 nine o'clock 九点 Okay, next one eleven o'clock. Then it is 十一点十一点 So we can see here which time. Then you just need to which o'clock. Then you say which 点几点 Okay. Then the question about what time is 几点 Okay, 几点 And two o'clock is 两点，乐阳两 here. Read up to me, please. 两点
两点。Okay, and still remember the tone sandy for third tones. When there are two third tone syllables together, we will change the first one into second tone, right? So, although it is written as liang dian, we will read it as liang dian. Okay, liang dian. And as we can see here, when we are saying two o'clock, we are not saying er dian in the Chinese. We will say. 两点 ，OK， 两点，两天，两年，两分 ，and for the money is still 两块 ，OK， 两块 ，it is 两 ，not 二 ，OK， this is about the whole hour， and when it is not a whole hour， we need to say some minutes， then it is 几点几分，几点几分。Even okay. Let's see these three examples. First one is five thirty. Five thirty. It is 五点三十分 Thirty. 三十 And we need to put the minute after it. 三十分五点三十分 And still remember what I taught you before. How to say how? There is another way to express half an hour, which is 半 So you can also say 五点半，五点半 ，and for 半 don't put 分 after it. Okay, 五点半 or 五点三十分 Next one is eleven ten. Eleven ten. Then is 十一点十分，十一点十分 The next one, five o'clock past two. Five o'clock past two. So we will still say the bigger unit, the hour first, and then the minute, which is 两点 Okay, 两点 still 两 not 二 Okay, 两点 and the minute is 五分 But in this situation, in this situation, we will say 零五零五 Okay, 零五 instead of 五两点零五分 ，OK， 两点零五分。So when here is this part is no more than two words, OK. When the when the time before 分 is just one character, then we will put 零 before it, OK. When it is big, no big, not bigger than ten, then we will put 零 before it. For example, 两点零五分 or and if it is eight past two, eight past two, then we will say 两点零八分 Okay, 两点零八分 So don't say 两点五分 It is not right in Chinese. It is 两点零五分 Okay, read after me. 零零零零 means zero. Okay, 零 means zero. Zero. This is the expression of time in Chinese. And now let's move on to next part, which is the time word used as an adverb. So in this text we've learned before, we can see the time word. Time word is always before the verb, and that's because time word. In these sentences, they are used as an adverb, and in Chinese, the adverbs are usually before the verb. Before the verb. Okay, let's see the examples. First one is, 妈妈六点做饭。妈妈 is the subject, and then 六点 is the time word. Time word, and then 做饭 is cooking. The verb 做饭 cooking. And we can see the time word is before the verb, before the predicate. Next one, Li 老师上午八点去学校 Li 老师 is the subject. 上午八点 means eight o'clock in the morning. And 去学校 is the verb. Go to the school. Verb plus the sub. Verb plus the object. Go to school, and we can see the time word is still before the verb. Next one, 我星期一去北京。我 subject 星期一 Monday the time word 
去北京 go to Beijing is the verb plus the object which is the predicate. So we can see here the time word is always before the non but before the verb. Okay, now let's see another situation which is the time word is not only before the verb, it is also before the subject. Let's see it. 七点我吃饭. 七点 is the time word. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. 我, the subject. 吃饭, eat the meals. 七点我吃饭. It is the same as 我七点吃饭. It means I will eat at seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Next one. 中午十二点我们回家。中午十二点, 12 o'clock in the noon, 我们, we, the subject, 回家, go back home. We will go back home at 12 o'clock in the noon. In the noon. Plus one, 下午五点, afternoon, which o'clock, 5 o'clock. And the subject, 他们在, 去看电影, go to watch the movies, go to watch the movies. And we can see in these six sentences, the time word can be before or, or after the subject, right? But it is always before the verb, before the predicate. So please pay attention to it. This time word can be before the subject, it can be after the subject, but the time word must always be for the predicate. Now let's move on to the next part. It is the noun, qian, the noun qian, which is used to express a period or a time, a moment before uh, the time we've mentioned. For example, first one, san tian qian. San tian qian, it means three days before, three days before. Okay, san tian qian, three days before. Next one, yi ge xing qi qian, a week, before, 一个星期, a week before. Next one, 四点前, before four o'clock, before four o'clock. And next one, 星期五前, before the Friday, before the Friday. So as we can see, whenever you wanna say before the time, you just need to put the moment or the period before 前, okay? For example, 三天 is a period, three days. 一个星期, a period, a week. 四点, four o'clock, it's a time moment, time point. And 星期五, it's still a time point, just one day, 星期五, Friday. So the time period or the moment And plus qian means this moment, this period before. Okay, this moment or this period before. Okay, let's see another example. 你什么时候去学校? When will you go to the school? 八点前, before eight o'clock. The okay, next one. 你什么时候回北京? When will you go back to Beijing? And 星期六前, before Saturday. Okay, next one. 你星期五前能回家吗? 你星期五前能回家吗? Will you go back home before Friday? Okay, for this sentence, we can see the subject is 你, right? You. And then it's the time word, right? The time word. And then we can see 能回家吗 is the predicate, right? Can go back home, can go back home. So this is the structure we've learned before in last part, the subject plus the time word plus the verb, okay? So this structure can be also transferred into another one. We can put this time word before the subject, right? So this sentence can be changed into 星期五前 你能回家吗? Right? 星期五前, 你能回家吗? This is 前, the non 前. Okay, now let's move on. Let's do some practices. Let's see here in the pictures, we can see there are clocks. And let's try to fill in the blanks. First one, 他, blah, blah, 在学校。
what? 他在学校 what? Okay, in this sentence we can see we have the subject and we have 在学校 See this 在 Can you remember any structure? Can you think about any structure? 在 a place do something, right? Do something. And here we can say do something here, do something. And then in this part, we can put in the time word because the predicate is after it, after it. So we can put the time word here. So now let's try to fill in the blanks. The first the time is, the time is, the time is, 9.45, right? 9.45. So, 她九点四十五分九点四十五分在学校看书 She's reading books. 九点四十五分在学校看书 Okay, next one. 王芳中午what去商店 what? It is the same structure, right? Wang Fang, the subject. Zhong Wu, the time. Zhong Wu, the time. We already have the time. Let's put the exact the clock into it. And the Qu Shang Dian to do what? Do something, right? Here. And try to fill in the blanks. First one, let's see. The time is 12 o'clock, which is 十二点 in Chinese. So, Wang Fang. 中午十二点去商店 Let's see, what is she doing? Buying, right? Buying things. So in Chinese, buying things is 买东西 Or we already learned how to say fruits, which is 买水果, right? 买水果. So this sentence is 王芳中午十二点去商店买水果 Okay, next one. 他们很忙, 他们很忙, 忙, this means busy in Chinese. 他们很忙, they're very busy. 很, very. 星期六, Saturday. 星期六, Saturday. 也工作, 也 means too as well. So 也工作 means work too. They will work at Saturday too. They're really busy. So here we need to put in the time here. What the time it is? It is 6.30, 6.30. So it is 六点三十分 or 六点半, right? So let's try to say 星期六六点三十分也工作. Okay, last one. 他上午不喝茶。she doesn't drink in the morning. 上午不喝茶. We can see 上午, the time word is before drink tea. Next one, 下午前喝茶. 下午前喝茶. Which time? 前, which time before? It is before 4 o'clock. So, 下午四点前, right? 下午四点前喝茶. Okay, this is the exercise for today. Now let's move on to our pin part for today. It is function of neutral tone, neutral tone. So we've learned before about how to use neutral tone and today it is about the function of it. So for the neutral tones, if we read the different, uh, read the same pin in different tones, for example, this one, 老子. If I read this, 子, 子, a third tone word, if I read it as a neutral tone, then it is 老子, which means father. But it is a slang, okay? It is slang. It, not, it is not official, okay? Please don't use it in your daily life. It is not applied. It's a, just a slang. It means father. And if I read it as 老子, 老子, then it is the, the ancient Chinese philosopher, which reads the who read the, who write the Dao De Jing, okay? This is Lao Zi and this is Lao Zi. They are different, two different meanings. Next one is Mai. Mai. 
these two characters are my my if i read it as my my if i read the second word as the neutral tone then it means business my my business but when i say my my then it becomes to buy and sell these two have different meanings next one da yi da yi these two if i read the second term, second syllable as the neutral term then it is da yi da yi it means careless and if i read it as da yi da yi then it means rough idea of something rough idea in my head okay so we can see the neutral tone can distinguish different meanings of one the the, the words have similar the word have similar pronunciations okay so please don't read anything as neutral tone because the pronunciation can lead into different meanings okay this is the function of neutral tone. Now let's move on to next one. The single component characters for today. First one is wu, which means a noon, noon, wu. Okay, first one. Let's see. In ancient time, it actually looked like this. It looked like two dots, two knots on a string. And now it looks like this. Okay, it is the time period before between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. 1 p.m. So how to say 11 a.m. in Chinese? 上午十一点, okay, 上午十一点. If you want to say 11 a.m., it is 上午 plus 三点. And if it is p.m., then it is 下午. Don't forget it. We just said it before, okay? 下午 plus the time. And okay, now let's see how to write wu, wu. First, we will write the left turning, and then it is a short horizontal, and then a long horizontal, and then a vertical, vertical. Okay, try to write it with me. Left turning, horizontal, not horizontal, and then a vertical. Please try to pay attention to this part. Don't make your vertical get through the first horizontal then this is another word another character which means cows or ox it means uh the animal cow the animal ox okay but if we don't put the vertical through it then it means noon okay next one is dian. 电影, of 电影, 电脑, or 电话, the phone, 电, which means electricity, energy. Now try to write it with me. First a vertical and then a horizontal turning, and then a horizontal, and then another horizontal to close this structure. And then this thing to go through the whole structure we've written before. Okay, try to write it with me. First, write thing like this, and then this structure to go through it. Okay, try to write it with me again. Okay, again. Okay, this is the end. Next one is the two radicals for today. Two radicals, new radicals. First one is er dao pang, which looks like this. Next one is dan ren pang, the radical ren and the radical er dao. Okay, first let's talk about er dao pang. Er dao pang. The radical er dao is usually related to a landform or location. Location about the land. So first one is yuan, the express the example character, yuan, yuan, yuan. It means a courtyard. 
a playground courtyard. So this is about a location, right? You can see it is written like this. And the radical of the left part here is er dao pang. Er dao pang. Okay, this is Yuan. And next one is Yang. Yang. Read after me, please. Yang. Yang. It means sun. We can see it is, it looks like this. And the left part of it is the radical er dao, er dao, yang, it means sun. So why sun is about the location? Because this character actually means the bright part of a mountain. In a mountain, when the sun is rising up, this part is this part is yang, which can get the sun set, okay? Which can get the sun. But this part, we cannot see any sun, which is not yang. This is the yang part. So that's why yang is using this radical er dao. Next one is dan ren pang. Dan ren pang. It is about ren, ren which means human. So it is usually related to a person. Usually, not always, okay? Usually. So first one, 你, we are so familiar with it. 你 means you, right? You, but singular you. So 你, we can see the left part of 你 is the 单人旁. Next one, 他, he, him. The, le the left part of it is still the radical 人. 单人旁, radical ren. Ta is still about a person, right? So these two are the radical er dao and the radical dan ren. Okay, this is all for today's lesson. Thanks for listening. Please try to practice more and see you next time. Bye bye.